Yup. Welcome back, BJP Let's Talk, guys. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below right now. Now, guys, you guys remember the, the, the what? The garage here has not been cleaned. You know, I got this nice broom. I don't know. I think I showed it in one video. I got it. I pushed probably two inches of dirt, and yeah. And then here we are. We just we haven't cleaned anything. It's it's still a mess. A few moments later. So now, guys, that title that we have going here is uh, is something that you know. Maybe we saw coming, maybe we saw coming. Now, I'm super grateful to be able to have this channel, be able to have this SRT, and uh, be able to afford it by having this. But you guys notice there's not a lot of big crazy mods going on. That's because the profit margins are kind of tight right now. So, obviously, when I first got it, it was still kind of tight. I'm going to be honest. Like, it, it was doing fine. Like, it does fine. Like, it pays for the car. It does what it needs to do. And I appreciate you guys watching so much for uh, making that happen. But I will say that there is a big issue that we're running into. And that, of course, is just, you know, we got, we got the payment, we got the insurance, and of course, you guys have seen those gas prices. So let me do a little bit of math real quick with you, and uh, let's talk about it. So now my car payment is just below $900 at $893 per month, which, you know, that sounds a little bit ridiculous. I know I, if you would ask me a year ago, two years ago, if I'd ever be paying that much on a car payment, I would have told you no. Uh, that would have been ridiculous. But... You know, here we are in the garage with the SRT and I'm paying that. So anyways, we got that and then we've got our insurance. So I've done deeper videos where I've talked about this in the past. If you guys want to check those out up here or down in the description, go to the Jeep playlist and check those out where I talked about how much I'm paying for this. And I broke it down in two separate videos. Now we're at about 1033 per month with the Jeep, with the car payment and the insurance. Now the tricky part is maintenance, gas, and of course, you know, unforeseen expenses of things like that carbon fiber at the beginning that's now broken off so if we go ahead and just assume gas if i'm just spending a hundred dollars a week even that's plus four hundred dollars per month now so we're right about that fifteen hundred dollar mark because obviously you have to have premium you have to fill up the car uh, you know fairly often now i'm pushing sometimes like two times a week i'm filling up which it kind of hurts man it kind of hurts so I, I'm doing fine, like it, it's, it's not actually making me bankrupt, but it's like, it's almost making the, the value here on the channel not worth it. And let me talk to you about why, because I technically run this whole thing like a business, I have expenses, and I invest in things like, this Jeep was an investment. Yes, I wanted it, of course, it's something that I want. I love driving it every day, it's exciting, it's awesome, but it was also an investment to try and elevate the channel and get to a new level. Now, the views have either stayed the same or gone down. They haven't gone up or done any better, so I'm basically doubling my car payment to get the same amount of views to make the same amount of money that I was making previously, which in a business standpoint does not make sense. So some months I might be paying $400 for gas, other months I might be pushing that $800 a month mark just for gas, which is it, it's ridiculous and it's super expensive and it's not really what you wanna be doing, right? So. Yeah. Now I'm due for an oil change, so I'm gonna be getting that done here shortly. And to get the oil change, obviously, either I do it myself and I save myself maybe in this market 30, 40 bucks, or, and I have to get my garage floor dirty and worry about like either jacking it up or doing all that and just, you know, just wasting my time. Or I go pay someone the 30 or 40 bucks. It goes on the car fact. Probably just gonna do that. So 130 bucks for an oil change. Now my steering wheel's been shaking and getting weird, and just overall, it just feels super unsafe. Like, I don't know if it's suspension or tires or something underneath. And I also think there might be something wrong with the transfer case. Transmission feels clunky sometimes. There's a really bad tick now. It's just getting worse. And it's like, it's kind of crazy. The hood has the bubbling issue. The trim is falling off in the front. And now the back door is rattling and the trim's falling off there. So, you know, all these things just cost money to fix. You know, just to diagnose just the steering wheel issue at the dealer is like 150 bucks. And, uh, you know, I'm, I don't really feel like diagnosing that myself. So hopefully it's something that's covered under warranty so I can get it fixed. But if not, then I'm, I'm kind of out of luck. But that video will be coming in the next week or two weeks, something like that. So stay tuned and we will be hopefully giving you guys an update on that. But let's go ahead and just see what we can do here to clean this garage up, organize it. And then I want your help. Tell me what I should do in here, make it look better and, you know, make it really pop and make it good for videos so that we can uh, come in here and do some more car stuff because I haven't been doing any Jeep stuff and, uh, you know, there's some reasons. I got another channel. Now we have these bins of car parts over here, some tools, of course the gun safe. Uh, we got just random stuff, man. We got some final wrap, we got some moving blankets. There's clothes still over there from when I moved. I mean, 
internet, it's, it's a mess. So I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna talk to you guys about the Jeep because more things just keep coming up. So I've got a plan and we'll maybe either continue this video or have another video coming soon. But you know, it's been two weeks since the video. So here we are boys. Here we are. Now this in here is just like absurd to me. I heard rattling and uh, yeah, come to find out it's like the entire trim piece. Like not even just the, the carbon peeling, it is the entire trim piece is just basically falling off. And uh, I don't know what's going on with that, how to reapply it or anything. If it's like a screw or something, a, a clip. If anyone knows, you know, let me know. Maybe I can just get a clip or something, pop this back in figure it out but uh yeah this is rattling like crazy when the music's playing and stuff you can it's kind of annoying but uh yeah that just happened recently there was a weird gurgling noise i also got some cheese and crackers uh but yeah there was like a weird noise over here that was like a gurgling noise when it was raining the other day i'm not sure if it was a sunroof issue but it did happen like somewhere over here it was super weird it was like a gurgling noise if anyone knows what that is i don't know hood bubbling seems to have possibly been getting worse uh you know this is peeling uh, I don't think I showed you guys, but there's, oh my God. Boys, the Jeep's falling apart. The Jeep is absolutely falling apart. The, the channel's falling apart. My life must be falling apart because this, this is all going wrong at once. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but right here, there's a nice crack up on that windshield right there. Um, hopefully, yeah, you can definitely see that. So it's a big rock chip right here, you know, um, really fantastic, just what I was looking for. With the, uh, with the Jeep here, just what I wanted was this big, big crack guy going on there. So it got a nice chip on the highway and then it's cracking out from there a little bit. So hopefully my insurance will cover that. I believe, I think I, I have good insurance. So hopefully they'll cover the, uh, the, the repair or the replacement, but they're not gonna cover the, uh, the new sticker, the new tint or the new tint strip on the ends of the like doubled up layers of tin, which is like 200, 300 bucks for all that. So that's, you know, that's an expense and it sucks. So yeah, guys, let's start this little process of cleaning up the garage a little bit and hopefully starting to organize it so uh, we can make it a little bit better in here. Uh, you guys see it nice and dusty up here and stuff. So we're gonna clean it up. Um, I'm gonna figure out maybe a little, little shelf idea. You guys can see, I pull up nice and tight over here. So keep them nice, uh, nice and close. And uh, yeah, figure out this organization, maybe somewhere to put my drills and stuff, get the tools organized. I don't know, I don't know. We're just, we're just gonna see what happens, guys. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy. So yeah, guys, we got a, we got a nice echo chamber here that is dirty as heck and needs to be cleaned. So I'm gonna time lapse a little cleaning session of, uh, by cleaning, I mean sweeping session because I've never slept since I moved in three months. So you're hesitating while you're waiting like somebody's gonna give it to you. You gotta chase it, gotta believe it. You gotta go get it for yourself. Still a lot to clean up and a lot to figure out, but a little bit better. Making progress. New videos coming soon. Peace.